So just to get started right off the bat, I have mm-hmm. to say, if I was in the Drew group, right, mm-hmm. I would have just like gotten out mm-hmm. <laughs> of yeah. Horseshoe Bay yeah. after one season of Indeed. mystery murders and after ghosts. one episode. One after episode, one episode, right? <laughs> like, ooh, okay, I'm, maybe not. But obviously, they are not only very loyal to the town, but to each other. Mm. So can you just talk from Nick's perspective, what is it that keeps him so invested in these people and also like in the truth? Yeah, I think obviously the truth is a is a large motivator. And I think also, I think ultimately at the root of what these guys do, it's good, right? They, they solve mysteries that usually revolve around murder and kind of bad things happening. So I suppose, especially for someone like Nick, it's hard to just walk away from that and kind of uh, not do some kind of good in the world and not do what you can to make things better. So I think that's a large motivation for Nick. Um, But I think also he's invested, deeply invested in these people that he's found himself uh, sharing his life with. Um, Obviously, George is is a significant part of that right now. They're engaged, uh, engaged to be married. So that's a huge motivating factor for him. Obviously, he has history with Nancy. He has a kind of romantic history with Nancy, but also a friendship with her now and also with Bess and Ace. So I think the people keep him around, but also within, and as we will explore in season three, and we have in the past, Nick also has some demons he's running from. I think there's uh, versions of Nick's past that he is uh, not quite ready to fully face. Um, And I think in season three, we'll definitely be kind of diving into that and and making him face those demons. Oh, I'm excited (laughs) Um, for that. Indeed. (laughs) Um, and so yeah that there's a there's a combination of factors that kind of keeps Nick in this crazy town where crazy things seem to keep happening Um, (laughs) but ultimately it's the people yes and you brought up George which Mm. I'm so glad you did because Mm. as um as someone who devoured Nancy Drew books in my youth Mm -hmm. I was very surprised when the show you know evolved from Nick and Nancy to Nick and George, but obviously they're mm-hmm. very settled now. We are very happy mm-hmm. for you both. Um, what would you say uh, is what makes George right for Nick? Why are they able to evolve where Nick and Nancy did not? Yeah, I think, you know, Nick and Nancy were obviously going off the books. They're, they're the mm-hmm. canon, um, but I think they were in very different places in their lives at the time and they weren't quite ready. Nick wanted something and Nancy wanted something else. So they weren't quite ready to be in a relationship with each other. And then Nick and George kind of kind of happened uh, semi-spontaneously, I suppose. I don't think it was necessarily anything that was planned by the writers or by us. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it was the chemistry. Kind of- yeah, to a degree. I think it was. It just kind of evolved and it seemed to make sense. And we kind of kept it going. And then here we are engaged to be married. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think it's a great thing. And I think the two, the two, you know, Nick and George are fantastic for each other. I think they complement each other in so many ways. I think Nick is a bit more of a reserved individual um, and kind of is, is very uh, smart, intelligent and all those things, but maybe lacks a bit of front footedness. Um, where I think George is, you know, she has so much front foot. She's all front foot. Um, so, but maybe lacks some of the subtleties in, in life that Nick has. So I think, you know, I think they definitely kind of bounce off each other and they can learn from each other. And Nick has a lot to learn from George. And I think that ability to, to, to fight in your own corner and stand up for yourself and get what you want um, is definitely something he can, he can learn from George and pick up from George. Definitely. I love the balance that they bring to the relationship. Mm. I know in an interview pre-season three, you talked about the fallout from uh, Nick's response uh, Mm. to, you know, her popping the Mm -hmm. question, Mm -hmm. which Mm -hmm. sounded like it was going to be negative, but then it was not. Thank you for that surprise. Um, (laughs) But now I'm still um, wondering what other obstacles are going to be in their path aside from like, we know that a shortened lifespan probably Mm. hangs a big shadow over, over their heads, but what can we expect for their relationship outside of Nick integrating himself into her family? Right. Yeah. And I think we explored that in uh, one of the episodes, one of the early episodes in season three, uh, what that's like. And I think there's just a lot to navigate going into a marriage with someone, you know, and especially for these very young, young people to be doing that. So I think we're definitely going to lean into all those, all those dramas and all those kind of more dramatic points uh, when two people get into such a serious committed relationship with each other. Um, 
so yeah, it's it's one of those questions where I can't really give too much away because I don't want to spoil it. You got to tune in Friday nights, <laughs> CW to find You're out. You're making me watch. <laughs> I'm making you watch. How dare I? <laughs> um, but no, it's 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 not going to be. I think Nick and George are very good for each other in mm-hmm. lots of ways. But inevitably, we are making a drama here as well. <laughs> let's be honest. Um, and so there will be dramatic story points. But I think there's a lot of uh, stuff to be mined and a lot of it stuff to be explored. Mm-hmm. Reason why I do what I do, why why I'm an actor, why I play other people, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, as weird as that might be, I pretend to be other people for my living, is <laughs> is to explore those more complicated feelings and more complicated emotions that come up. Um, and so this show definitely allows us to do that. And amongst all the supernatural and the ghosts mm-hmm. and the drama and the murders, you also get to inhabit these very complex, fully formed um, people. Yeah. And something I think, I hope we do very well on this show and are equally as committed to the emotions and the people as we mm-hmm. are to the supernatural and the fantastical. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, I think we'll definitely we'll definitely explore those things with Nick and George. And there's a lot of uh, fertile ground to be plowed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I went to a farming <laughs> metaphor, but yeah. This that's is very a, a very a, like visual <laughs> visual language. <laughs> um, but outside of the romance, uh, I do love when they switch up the character dynamics. Like last week, I know fans loved uh, Nick and Bess. Uh, spending some right. time together teaming up mm-hmm. are there mm-hmm. any other unexpected dynamics for nick coming up a season or actors you're excited to be working with or for us to see you working with i think it's just great to work with every single actor mm-hmm. as we go along obviously you know i'm paired with leah lewis uh, who plays george most mm-hmm. of the time um but i think it's a lot of fun you know i had scenes with alex saxon where we we're freezing the hearts and all that kind of stuff so mm-hmm. that's that's a lot of fun and yeah teaming <laughs> up with uh, madison as best that's also a lot of fun and you know nick and nancy obviously will also they will you know team up on things and kind of go off and solve this or that mm-hmm. um is there one in particular? I think, as I say, going back to talking about Nick's past, mm-hmm. there are people from Nick's past that kind of show up. There are characters. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's a lot, been a lot of fun to kind of uh, uh, involve myself or kind of dive into that with Nick, um, that dynamic. But every opportunity we can, I think there might be some more Nick and Bess coming up. Yay! I'll just say that. <laughs> I'll just say that. <laughs> and that's an absolute joy. That's a lot, a lot of fun. Um, because talking about quite different characters as well, you know, Nick mm-hmm. and Bess are quite different characters and that allows Madison and I to have a lot of fun with whatever scenes, whatever scenes we, we do together mm-hmm. um, and exploring their, their we'll say complementary energies, shall we say. <laughs> I love that, <laughs> complementary so, yeah. energies. A lot now, of fun. looking back on Nick's past, at least in the last two point to something uh, seasons Mm -hmm. (laughs) that we've done. What Mm -hmm. are you proudest of in terms of his growth or what Mm. has stood out to you most in terms of that character evolution? Um, I think there's maybe twofold. I think there's one, me personally as an actor and as as an artist and what we do, I think telling Nick's story, I think there was a real, there was a pitfall of having a black man having been through correctional facility, mm. I think that could be a cliche in, in a lot of people's hands. And it has been a cliche in the past and something that's taken for granted and just told lightly. And it's just an exciting, dramatic story point. But I think what we've done in this show is definitely explored the reality of that as much as we can within this medium. Obviously this medium is this medium. Um, we've really explored and pushed what is the reality of someone to live with those, with what he's been involved with, a man's uh, uh, altercation where he killed a man and was charged with manslaughter. What, what does that do to a human being and how do you carry that weight around with you when it happened to you so young as well? How do you try and get on with your life? And we've really explored that and really kind of delved into that and been unashamed about that. And we've done it in, with a lot of complexity and a lot of nuance, I think. So hope, I, I hope anyway so I would hope that anyone who has gone through a similar experience watching Nancy Drew can relate and can link into that in some way and I was very fortunate to actually speak to a lot of um well three or four um teens young men who had just gone through the juvenile correctional um, uh, system and so I in an attempt to bring some kind of authenticity and some kind of meaningfulness to to Nick and his experiences as a human being so I think personally that is something we have done very well. 
And that is something that we continue to do. Um, and I think as Nick, I think his personal growth, I think getting to a point where, getting to a point where he is more accepting of himself mm. is, is something that we're kind of, we're still working on that and we're still kind of pushing towards that. that. That is in large, a large part of season three for Nick. But even since the start of season one, I think his acceptance of himself and not just as his personal past, but also his acceptance of himself within society and his assertion of himself within society. In episode two, we kind of went into a few episodes where Nick explores his uh, ethnic identity right. within within uh, Horseshoe Bay and what that is for him. And you know, George talking about George uh, George's assertiveness, she very mm-hmm. much helped him go. No, you you do you are you and you you love that and you enjoy <laughs> that and you stand up for yourself. If someone gives you gumph then you give gumph back. <laughs> I don't know where gumph came from. I never I was, use that word. I love that. It's like, a, it's, like, it's like slang for gumption. I don't know. Like <laughs> right, gumph. there you go. There you go. Um, but yeah, so I think that was a large part of Nick's mm-hmm. development in season two and something that I was very happy for, for him to experience and for him to, to get to do. Um, and his continued relationship with George, I think, just continues to just push him and uh, allow him to affirm himself more and more as a human being. Um, so that's very, very great and satisfying. Yeah, I love that. Now, aside from acting, of course, which you also do stage and screen, which is very impressive to me. Um, you also do, I know you like to give back to the community. You ran 5K last year. You're doing mm. 10K this year or have you already oh, done it? Oh, no, no, no. I'm doing a thousand kilometers this year. What? Uh, oh, okay, not, okay. not in one, not in one running. Obviously. Right, right, right. Not right. in one. But, um, <laughs> but yeah. How do you prepare for that? And why is it so important to you to be, to um, be involved in that way? Yeah, I think there's kind of two things that are kind of convulging there. I mm-hmm. think physical health is very important to me. And I think also obviously giving back to, to communities and I'm in a fairly uh, privileged position. And so it's important that, you know, you, you always think about the, the have and the have nots in the world. And you've got to make sure that that is as equal as possible and it's not too much of a difference. And so you've always got to give back. I think it's very, very important. Something maybe I share with Nick, you know, he's opening yeah. his youth center and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I think that's very, very important. And I think it's easy to take for granted uh, privilege and it's easy to take for granted uh, uh, comforts in your life and assume that everyone else must be living this life as well. Right. And it's easy to forget that, no, that is not the reality for a lot of people. For unfortunately, the large majority of people, that is not the, not the reality. So it's very important to, 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 to stay connected to humanity and uh, make sure you're giving back if and when you can. And I think the physical health side of things is it's important to, you bo- you only get one body in this life, you know? And for me, I want to make that body as healthy as healthy as possible and make it last as long as possible. And so physical, physical health and doing challenges like a 5K or running a thousand kilometers in one year, which is my challenge this year, yeah. is uh, is important. And it's, you know, it's 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 uh, physical health manifests into mental health. The two are very much connected. Um, and I think, yeah, it's it's just that that's that's very important to me. It's something that motivates me. And when I get the opportunity to take the two and take a physical activity and marry it with some charity and do some good, um, you know, that's win-win. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to take this as inspiration. <laughs> finally, <laughs> finally, do you have any other projects in store or coming up for you outside of Nancy Drew? No, as of yet, I think we're kind of, mm-hmm. there's a few things in the works. Uh, we'll see. But mm-hmm. now is the time when, you know, we, we hopefully will get to season four. And so you've right. got to work your schedule in, a, mm-hmm. in and amongst uh, that, that happening in, uh, in the new year. Um, so you've always got to keep an eye on that, but also make sure you're, you're exploring other opportunities if and when you can. So there's, uh, you know, auditions and kind of meetings and stuff like that are kind of happening around now for, for future projects, hopefully. Stay tuned. Um, mm-hmm. But I think also... I would just love to get back to to the you alluded to me doing some theater in the past. I think it would right. just love to get back to to theater that's mm-hmm. been kind of locked down and kind of denied right. uh, the artists and the observers for so long due to the pandemic. So it's nice to get to get back to a place where that is opening back up in London. So hopefully, you know, I get an opportunity to go back home and and do some do some theater, tread the boards yeah. in London again. That'd be pretty pretty fantastic. Yeah, that would be well. Good luck. Hopefully you get to do that very soon. And hopefully we get season four and a wedding that goes off without (laughs) too many hitches, ghosts, goblins, murders. Indeed. 
<laughs> thank you so much. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great Appreciate day. It. You too. Bye.